Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to take a look at introduction to choppers. So let's get started. At the first place, what is a chopper? Let us say we have a fixed or a variable DC input voltage. Fixed or variable DC voltage. So when it passes through this particular chopper, which we call as DC chopper, what happens is it's going to convert it to either fixed or variable DC output voltage, depending upon our requirement and the circuit that we are considering. When we say this, the input can be either stepped up or stepped down, meaning to say if we have 5 volt, it can be increased to 12 volt at the load side or when we have 12 volt at the input side, it can be decreased to 5 volt at the output side. These are just examples. So you will be able to convert fixed or variable DC input voltage to fixed or variable DC output voltage. You can also step up or step down the input voltage to a level that is required. So choppers are circuit that is used to convert fixed or variable DC input voltage to fixed or variable DC output voltage. So just writing down those points as they are very important. Choppers convert the input DC voltage into fixed or variable DC output voltage. This we have already seen. The supply can be fixed or variable. The DC choppers are also called as DC DC converters. So in general, we call these as DC DC converters in industrial and commercial applications. So the output voltage V out can be greater than or less than the supply voltage, isn't it? They're also used in DC traction drivers, drives, trolley cars and lifts, etc. So they are used in wide variety of applications. This is just a simple example. Nowadays, they are largely used in electric vehicles where a DC DC converter is always required for any sort of power conversion within the system. Now you might be having a question as what does this DC DC converter or a DC chopper contain? So it, it primarily contains three important components that is switch, capacitor and inductor. We will be playing around with the position of these components in order to achieve fixed or variable DC output voltage, either step up or step down or depending upon whatever we want. By playing around with these three components position in a particular circuit, we will be able to achieve this conversion and you will be definitely surprised as we go further when we look at each of the circuit operation in the upcoming videos. So now we have seen the basics of what chopper is about. Now what are the classification around it? So the classification is that they're mainly classified into three different categories that is based on input or output voltage levels, direction of output voltage and current and according to the commutation method. So input or output voltage levels, meaning to say it can either be step up or step down. You will be able to increase the voltage at the output or decrease the output voltage. So based on that, it's called as step up or step down chopper based on direction of output voltage or current, meaning to say that the output voltage and current can be positive, meaning to say it can operate in the first quadrant and that is called as class A chopper. They are also called as type A chopper. The output voltage and current can be in the negative. That is the output voltage can be positive, but the current can be negative. So they are called as class B chopper. We also have something called as class C chopper where the output voltage is always positive. The current can be positive or negative, meaning to say they can operate in two quadrants, that is first and second. We also have class D chopper where the output voltage is positive or negative and the current is always positive and it operates in first and fourth quadrant. We also have class E chopper where the output voltage can be positive or negative and the operation is in all four quadrants of operation. So each of these circuits we will be going in detail as we uh, go further. So in this video, I just wanted to give an overview of what the basic classification is about. According to a commutation method, meaning to say by the nature of which we turn on, turn off the switch. So we have four different classification, voltage commutated chopper, basically through voltage, current commutated chopper, load commutated chopper, and impulse commutated chopper. So we've not seen commutation methods as well, which we'll be seeing in the upcoming videos. But on a high level, commutations is basically the method that is used to turn off a particular switch. So you'll be having an additional circuitry to do that. But on a high level, classifications of chopper is that 
based on input and output voltage we have step up and step down direction of output voltage and current we have class a to class e and according to commutation method we have voltage current load and impulse commutator choppers so this is the introduction of choppers i hope this introduction gave you a clear overview of what choppers are about we'll be going in detail as how they operate for each of these circuits as we go further I hope this video gave you a clear understanding of what choppers are all about. In case you have any questions, feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Thank you.